So in this example, we're going to find a 95% prediction interval for the gas consumed when the temperature is 3.5 degrees Celsius. Um, again, we've been dealing with these same variables, temperature and gas consumed, for a house that had insulation installed. As always, X is my average temperature and Y is the gas consumed. We are going to use R to create this model for us. Um, assuming that you already have the data in there, gas and temperature were already put in some time ago, so we're still using that same data. If you haven't typed it in, then just go in and type in your temperatures and your, ga your gas consumed. Um, we probably already did the linear model out, but it's a good idea right before you do the prediction just to do it to make sure you have it. So it's lm.out equals lm gas tilde temperature. Again, that symbol right there is the tilde symbol that is um, next to the number one key on your um, computer keyboard. Um, nothing will happen when you press that. It's just, again, calling this model giving it a name and we're then going to create we're going to predict for the linear model out so lm dot out model that we created new data um, this equals list is just a way to tell the the computer what ver what value you want to predict for so in this case we want temperature to equal 3.5 because that's what it said in the problem it said to find the gas consumed when the temperature is 3.5 degrees Celsius. So that is the number that went right here is we're letting temp, our variable temp, equal 3.5. Um, we then are, want to create an interval and this is a prediction interval. Notice it is in quotes. Make sure you put the quotes in there. And then level equals 0 0.05 because we did say we want a 95 percent confident uh, prediction interval. When you hit enter, this is what you end up with is this information. The fit, this is actually what would you would get if you did the y hat is equal to um, your regression equation, which um, in our case was um, 4.5713 minus 0 0.2230x. If you were to put 3.5 in here for x, this is the number you would get back out. So that's just telling you when x is equal to 3.5, what is y equal to. What we find more interesting is actually this information here. The 3.068 to 4.51. That is actually our prediction interval. So what that is actually telling us is that 3.068 is less than our y value, our true y value, and is less than 4.513. So this is actually our prediction interval, and what this actually tells us is that on a day when it's 3.5 degrees Celsius, you expect to use about 3.1 cubic feet to 4.5 cubic feet of gas. So one way you can use this is you can look at your gas meter and see if you're using more or less than that. Um, and that might give you an indication if you have issues going on with your heater or your gas in your house. So that's how we can use prediction intervals.